Every great moment in our history began with a dream. Each bold leap forward was achieved by those willing to do anything to attain it. We are, all of us, leaving behind families, homes, the very birthplace of our species. Some for discovery, to see the unknown, others for a new start. But today, whatever our reasons, we take the first steps toward a new future for humanity. Today, we begin to make our dream reality. Breaths. You're gonna wanna take it easy. I've been taking it easy for 600 years. Ryder, Sarah, recon specialist, Pathfinder mission team. Pathfinder team, eh? The ones finding us a home. Can you make it somewhere tropical? Nice, warm ocean, summer year-round? How about we get her a cup of coffee first? process saw the Andromeda Initiative evaluate thousands of potential habitable planets within the galaxy. Sarah Ryder, let's get you checked out. Look here. After discovering an unusually high ratio of potential candidates, or Golden Worlds, the Helios Cluster was selected as our destination. Now you are a part of the first wave of arcs arriving in Andromeda, our new home for humanity. Makes it sound so easy, doesn't it? I hope not. I signed up for a little adventure before we settle down. Well, buckle up. Sounds like you'll get your wish. Yeah? Over here now, the Pathfinder wants you all on your feet right away. He said, mission ready within the hour. Any idea why? No, but I'm guessing that's where your adventure comes in? Okay, everything checks out. Just one more thing before I send you on your way. Let's test your SAM implant. Sam, are you monitoring? Sam, are you online? Yes, Dr. Tapero. 
Good morning, Sarah. Are you feeling well? I just need a second to get my bearings. Uh, what's this about my implant? A routine check. After being in stasis, we want to make sure the connection's still live. As the team's mission computer, your well-being is my primary concern. Assuming the implants work as advertised, Sam sees what you see, in theory. We won't know for sure until we get you in the field. How are you feeling, otherwise? I'm ready to get to it. Readings confirmed. I detect an increased level of adrenaline in your system. The neural implant is functioning properly. Can't explore space without my coffee. You're all done. Let's get you on your way. Though you may want to hang around while we revive your brother. It always helps to see a familiar face. I don't like the sound of that. I think so. What happened? We're not sure. Sensors are scrambled. But it's good to see you're up. Feels like centuries since we spoke. This is the Pathfinder. Mission teams continue preparations. Cora, riders, report to the bridge. You heard him. Let's get- Uh, we have a problem over here. It's Scott Ryder. <laughs> What's wrong? I don't know. Have to check it out. Well, it looks like some... Sarah. Is my brother okay? Scott's fine. His vitals are strong, but the revival procedure was interrupted. When can he wake up? We don't want to rush it. Sam? My connection to Scott's implant was suspended. However, his pulse, respiration, and brain activity are all normal. To be on the safe side, we'll need to keep him in a low-level coma for a while. Then let his body regain consciousness naturally. He'll be fine. Glad to hear it. Thanks, Lexi. You keep us updated. Ryder, I'll wait for you at the door, whenever you're ready to go. How do you want to handle this? Keep them in the pod for now. Around one o'clock, one o'clock. Did the wall just the turn upside down? I need damage assessment of the gravity loss. Generators. Morning, Ryder. Or afternoon. Or I don't know. No. This looks broken. You ready? What's wrong? Got a surge of power reading. everything. We have to balance the power loader. It could explode. But we don't know where the fault is. Ryder could find it. She has a scanner. Quick, Ryder. Use it to locate the fault. On it. I'll try to get readings on the second conduit. Hey, this equipment is on. operating normally. It has to be here. Got it. There's no indication of a fault in this component. Relay 2C shows damage from a temperature spike. Found it. Bad relay. Ryder. Go reset it! There! It's Let's reset! Do it. We're routing the current now! Grid recovery! It's working! Readings are in the brain! Thank God. We have attended everyone in the cryo bay. Good job, Ryder. Now we can get to the tram. Close. Barely an Andromeda, and we're already scrambling. <sighs> the adventure begins. Not sure your dad will see it that way. Be advised, full integrity on deck four is within safety threshold. 
Go ahead and take us to the bridge. Helm control, report. We're drifting. Flight controls aren't responding. First priority is stopping these outages. Mainline power's been knocked out. We're on reserves, Captain. They won't last. What's our position? Unknown. We lost telemetry. Sam, we need eyes out there. Attempting to adjust sensor array. Alec, please. You may be Pathfinder, but this is my ship. Captain, the protocol's clear. In the absence of communication with the Nexus or the other arcs, we proceed to our appointed golden world. Solid ground. If it's even out there. Nobody said anything about running into an energy cloud. And that's just a wild guess what we hit. Alec, I need to assess the damage. Stop the bleeding. We've got 20,000 people asleep on this ship. Let's give them a chance to wake up. Can you blame her? She is the captain. I think she gets the final word. Well, he might. This isn't about having the final word. Yes, sir. We're coming through. My god. Is that our golden world? That's Habitat 7. New Earth, if we're lucky. All of our long-range scans told us it was in the green zone. Perfect for human settlement. It doesn't even look the same. She's right. It looks pretty dicey from here. Are we sure about those scans? It's a good question. Things can change. It's been 600 years. Sam! The energy from the phenomenon is dumping our senses. Planetary conditions are unknown. We're marooned. 20,000 souls adrift at sea. And when the power runs out and stays out, we need to know if that's safe harbor. And if it's not? As Pathfinder, it'll be my job to find an alternative. It's what we trained for. But if this goes well, we are already home. All right, just make it quick. Harper, the rest of the team should be awake by now. Have them spin up two shuttles. Planet Fallen 30. Yes, sir. A stubborn one, isn't he? No one ever said Dad was a diplomat. People skills were never his strong suit. Just as long as he knows what he's doing. It's not like the cavalry's coming to save the day. I need an ETA on our sensor repairs. We're blind out here. Brother's going to hate that he missed this. Are all the riders adrenaline junkies? I guess it's in our blood. I was born a minute ahead of him. I never let him forget it. Don't worry. I'm sure Scott will pull through. Yeah, and when he does, he'll want to hear stories. So, let's get out there and find him one. Right, you'll want to get your helmet. And maybe stop at the good luck rock before we go. The what? It's an old superstition of your dad's. Hang in there, Scott. Looks like dad's already suited up. It's Kirkland, right? Yeah. I think we met just before the Hyperion left Earth. Not sure if you know Greer. Hi there. You dad say anything about what's going on?
Tough to say. Sansers can't get a read on the planet. Well, at least it keeps things interesting. Yeah, be a shame to go through all this training and not put it to good use. See you guys on the ride down. No sensor coverage, huh? We'll be flying by the seat of our pants. I hate not knowing. Got it. That should do it. The Pathfinder is now requiring sidearms. I've opened the armaments locker. Are we expecting trouble, Sam? A precaution. Please arm yourself, Ryder. Ryder? Hey, Fisher. How's it going? I heard a rumor from the bridge that your dad and the captain aren't seeing eye to eye on this. I don't know what that's about. <laughs> okay, then. I'll just pretend I didn't hear that you took Gunn's side. More rumors. Maybe, but I figure at the end of the day, the Pathfinder team answers to the Pathfinder. Besides, your dad's the N7 here. He's got the best aim. I go wherever he goes. Better safe than sorry. You never know. Now let's get to the shuttles. Better not. No bathroom breaks on this trip. Dr. Carlyle, with everything going on, I think the Ark needs you more than we do. Pathfinder wants a medic on hand, and if that is home down there, I'm happy to knock on the door. If it's what we hope it is, it'll be one for the history books. You got a quote ready? One small step. I'm pretty sure your dad will handle that honor. All right, team, button it up. We leave in five. Sir, we broke out the weapons as requested. Anything we should know about? Seem prudent, given the situation. We'll be down a man with Scott out. I heard what happened. Your brother's strong. He'll make it. Scott wouldn't want us to worry because of him. You're right. The mission comes first. Though, I doubt your mother would have seen it that way. I promised her I'd get you two here safely. Okay, team, listen up. I chose each of you for the Pathfinder team, not just because you're talented and passionate, but because you're dreamers, like me. We dream of exploring the unknown, of finding the edge of the map, and then discovering what lies beyond. When people look back on this, and they will, they'll remember we didn't give up. That we kept dreaming that our first few faltering steps in Andromeda were the beginning of everything they know. We only get one chance to be first. So, let's go make history. Been waiting 600 years for this. Unstable mass of dark energy. If you say so, steer clear of it. Gravity anomalies detected. Atmospheric 
Copy that. Doesn't look like a golden world from here. Ionization levels are rising. Stay on course to the landing zone. Oxygen levels are below minimum human requirements. Is this the right planet? We had this all worked out. Keep it tight, Shuttle 2. Uh, the mountains are floating. Look, port side! That has to be advanced engineering. Hyperion, this is the Pathfinder. We've got evidence of an alien civilization. Has anyone seen us? What if they're not friendly? We stick to contact protocol. No use of deadly force unless a hostile intent is clear. Come in. Uh, Hyperion! Sam! Anyone there? Save your breath, Ryder. Sam's offline. Comlink's trashed. I'm surprised we are too. Did the others make it? I don't know. It was all a blur. Shuttle split in two. This is like some nightmare. Yeah. No way this is home. Looks like we're gonna find some high ground. See if anyone else is alive. Come on! Ryder, how's your survival training? I've seen my share of troubles. Nothing crazy, but... Well, crazy just found us. Those rocks out there are floating. Terra Incognita. Well, without Sam, it's hard to say exactly what this is. It's sort of a plant, and maybe dead, but maybe not. Damaged in the crash. No good to... There's our comm device. No fixing this. Must have broken on impact. Explains why we lost our Sam connection. Safety tip? Don't breathe the air. Found that out the hard way. Got it. You think that energy cloud we saw could cause all this? Sam said it's dark energy, but that's in space. Yeah. Hell of a cloud. A cloud that makes boulders float. Uh, what the hell is this? Come on! We gotta get through it! This is crazy! Welcome to Habitat 7! Keep moving! Look safer under there! Is this for real? What the hell's going on with this place? <sighs> Planet's trying to murder us. It can try. How's your gun? Might want to see if it's working. Take a shot at that fuel cell. It's busted anyway. I'd say it's working!
Look, something flying around in the sky. Oh, wow. We're not in the Milky Way anymore. There! We get up that cliff, we find high ground. Come on! Not sure we want to be the tallest thing around here. I think I can see a path up. We'll use the jump jets if we have to. Into the breach! I think I'd rather fall than get hit by light. How'd my dad find you? I was a cop. Then crisis response. Yeah? Tell you over a beer sometime. This is going to be close. That's it. We're getting there. I think I see the top. Am I making some room? Thanks. What the hell is that? Don't know, but it's our job to figure it out. That sounds like your old man talking. He was right. Something went wrong here. We have to find out what. One thing at a time. Ryder, it's Fisher. Wait, look. unless fired upon. <laughs> yeah, said no one in the field ever. How do we handle it? Take it easy. We only get one shot at hello with these guys. Yeah, and Fisher gets shot in the head if we're wrong. Nice and easy. We only go hot if we have to. Don't think they've spotted us yet. No, I got shot! He sees us! <laughs> we can't understand you! We're not here to fight! That man's with us! Can you help? Let her it! Doesn't sound friendly. What's the other guy? Weapon! Jumping in. I wish I didn't have to. The first aliens we meet and we try to kill each other? That wasn't the plan. Then we need a new one. Yeah, at least we know it's what. The brochures were light on aliens who want to shoot your head off. <sighs> we still don't even know what they wanted. The way they treated you? Blood samples, I'd say. Lots of them. Who says we'd even understand? Or they'd understand us? It's a new galaxy. I guess it's too much to expect they'll play by Milky Way rules. They broke the rules in any galaxy. But why go after us like that? Only thing I know for sure, their guns hit just as hard as ours. Where are the others? Gone. Kirkland and Greer went looking for help. Come on. Ah, my leg! Can you move? I think it's broken. You guys push ahead and look for the others. You sure? Yeah. Just find us a ride out of here. And take a few more of them out while you're at it. Whoa. Take a look at these bodies. What are these things? Well, I don't have Sam here, but I can try to make sense of it. They're DNA-based, and their armor reads as some kind of bone. But the genetics are all over the map. Ah. Huh. I guess life took a different turn here, huh? I hope the other team's okay. We'll find them. But we might want to scout around first. You're the recon specialist. Point the way. <laughs> right. Looks like he knew how to handle a gun back there. Spent time with an Alliance peacekeeping force.
It's gear from one of our shuttles. Good. The atmospheric sensor's still working. Let me guess. It says don't breathe the air? Yeah, but no sign of industrial pollutants. That's not what killed this place. No radioactive isotopes either, so nobody nukes the place. That Kirkland. Please, I surrender. They shot him. They want to fight. We'll give it to them. I got one left to go. That's the last of them. I can't believe we're doing this. The cops can make it. No vital signs. Just shot him in cold blood. He was trying to surrender. Why kill him? Would we treat them any different if they showed up on Earth, armed to the teeth? Uh, maybe not. Peace isn't going to be an option here. We'll come back for his body once we find the others. Hope Rhea's still alive somewhere. Still, take a look at this architecture. This is really something. Okay, now this is weird. Even with these readings, I have no idea what it does. <laughs> Just imagine the mind that invented it. If that's even possible. Evolution separated from ours by two million light years. Spooky when you put it that way. I've seen Prothean artifacts in my time, but nothing quite like this. It's at least three or four centuries old. The Ark left 600 years ago, right? Yeah. Our long-range scans wouldn't have shown this. These structures. That tower. Maybe none of it was here when we left... The Milky Way. I'll mark the nav point. Shit, you hear that? I wish I didn't. The hell? There, watch out! What is this thing? I think it Okay, it's dead. Whatever it was. How'd it cloak like that? Organic. No sign of technology. Wow, so the cloaking is biological? Yeah, weird. Wreckage ahead. Shuttle. What a mess. I can't believe we survived this. We're not a planet yet. Shit! Move on our perimeter. It's an ambush! Ah hell! They got the jump on us! Careful they got one of those animals! Watch for cloaking! 
in my day. I was with a team that dug up Prothean artifacts. Well, this will be a field day for you. Maybe we should see if there's anything else useful here. Flight recorder here. Lightning rod. You could explain why the building's damaged. Storms hammered the place. living here. So what's it for? Doesn't look like the other structures we've seen. Different design. Must be a way to get some lights on. is a generator. Yeah, sure. Why wouldn't it be? Maybe it did something. Weird. If that's poison, I know who to blame. out to get us. Same language as those aliens. Wonder what he's saying. Kill old humans, probably? Door open. 
Some kind of research lab? Maybe. Then it got hit by a tornado. Not exactly poetry, is it? Weird. You hear that? Looks like they were trying to tunnel in. Don't think it turned out so well. Uh, watch it! What is it? This? There. So now killer robots too? Huh. The guests back home would love this place. Doesn't say much other than it's not organic. Old though, like centuries old. Like an automated god maybe? Could be. Some serious energy on the other side of that door. Maybe it's closed for a reason? These guys were poking around where they shouldn't have. Whatever this is, it scans as being old. Centuries old. Wish we had Sam. It's older than this lab, but about the same age as that bot we just killed. So maybe these aliens found it deeper in? Like an artifact? Any theories, recall specialist? There's some kind of technology on this planet. Older. Underground. Something these aliens are interested in. Like archaeologists? Yeah. Bloodthirsty archaeologists. Weather's still crappy. Heads up! They were waiting for us! Oh, damn! They got a lighting rod up and running! Are these things stalking us? Starting to feel like it! This is not how I go out! I don't think they're listening! There! Last one's down. Let's not wait around for more. what it looks like to defend against lightning. A path down on the right. Did you hear that? Yeah, radio static. But like a pattern. What do you want? No, don't don't understand. I'm from the middle. It's great. They got it. God, I was tapping my mic, hoping someone would notice. You okay? Yeah. Where are the others? They killed Kirkland. But Fisher's alive back at the crash site. He's got a broken leg. Needs help. I'll check around for supplies. Then head back. Stay put when you get there. We'll look for my dad's shuttle. Good luck. Can't wait to get off this rock.
Some sort of cave over there. Check that out. Now this looks more like the golden world my dad was expecting. Then the long range scans were right? This could have been home? 600 years ago, and then who knows? Dead animal in here, and some sort of trap. Pretty recent, too. You suppose those aliens set it? If they did, they don't play nice with anyone. Well, maybe they're starving. If it's anything like plants back in the Milky Way, there are signs of cellular mutation. It's lasted this long. Guess that makes it the Alpha Tree, huh? Yeah. But what happened to all its friends outside? Sound coming from below? Um, alien gods of the underworld? <laughs> Don't say that. I think it's machinery. You can feel the vibration. Oh, the scale of this. Who built it? Alien gods. Good way to break your neck. Wonder what's in here. What the? Did you see that? Some kind of flying thing. Add it to the list of stuff around here we don't understand. Careful there. Watch it, more of our friends. They're on to us. Here we go. Did 
did it. I wonder what these guys were doing here. Crash some kind. It's not one of our ships. Not from the Milky Way. One of theirs. Think the storm got it? At least the weather isn't playing favorites. You'd think if this was their planet, they'd know how to handle the storms. It's food, I think. Can't be local. Not growing anything on this planet. So maybe they're bringing it in from off world? More of them in the cluster? Not loving that. for a big fight. Weapons and ammo at the shuttle. Stock up. Did these things try talking to you at all? Barely a word. Then started shooting. What about you? We tried being nice. I didn't play along. Them. 
Just keep firing! We can do this! Harry, you guys okay? Not dead yet! Kids, when do rocks float? I hear you, but this isn't the time to lose our cool. Now I feel better. What about the others? Fisher's wounded, but sitting tight. Greer's with him. Though our shuttle's in pieces. Guys. Keep it hit! Contagious. Before they attacked, I... I managed to fix our comms. You're a lifesaver. Now just take it easy. Sam, are you there? QEC link established. Affirmative, Sarah. The Pathfinder needs to speak with you. Good to see you in one piece. What's our status? Liam and I are with Cora. We have wounded crew. The good news is our shuttle's been repaired. We can get back to the Ark. Not with these storms. It's too risky to fly. Our wounded can't wait much longer. Do you have something in mind? If the storm is the problem, then let's solve the problem. We're talking about weather. And I have an idea about that. Rendezvous with my coordinates will... Damn, they spotted me. Sir? Sir! Can you two manage alone? I can keep her stable. For a while. Let's move. Sam. Do you have the Pathfinder's position? Marking the nav point on your map. Doesn't look far. Let's make this quick. We have to get there before the storm hits. No detours. What was my dad scouting for? He was trying to get readings on that tower. Well, the nav point puts him near it. Exercise caution. The storm front is already gaining intensity. Nice to have you back, Sam. How about some good news next time? Ryder, your dad was in trouble. We have to find him. We're gonna find the Pathfinder. Like, right... They might keep us safe. Dead bodies here! Lightning didn't do this! Neither did we. This is more than we took out. Incendiary rounds. My dad's been busy. Close. The nav point shows my dad's up there. Visitors, just. 
just like us. I don't think they're native to the planet. They're not. We found an abandoned lab, like they've been studying the place. Good work. You actually did some scouting. Wouldn't be much of a recon specialist if I didn't. <laughs> well, you're off to a good start. Baptism by fire. Sir, you said you had an idea about the weather? It's the dark energy cloud the Hyperion hit. It's affecting the whole planet. Interfering with that. The tower is caught in a feedback loop in the cloud. Together they're disrupting the entire climate with undirected energy. It would explain a cave we found. Plant life sheltered from the storm. From that tower. It's a good bet. And I think if we can get in there and shut the tower down, the lightning goes away. And the shuttle can get us out of here, in theory. We just have to get past them. It's a hell of a gamble, but we won't know until we get in there and try. No illusions about this. It'll be a nasty fight the whole way. If Sarah's game, so am I. But we risk turning a skirmish with these guys into something worse. It's them or us. Oh, it's them. The problem is we're outnumbered. I've been working on that. We just need to change the math. Don't stop! If 
we fall behind, we're dead. Shit, they crap shots. Come on, into the building. Sam, give me engineer profile.
Translation complete. Let's see what we have. Crazy. We can fly to a whole new galaxy and still make sense of things. Sam had a little something to do with it. It was simply a matter of linguistics, though I am pleased to have it. I suggest a hardwire connection. Do it! There! Welcome back, Sarah. What happened? You were clinically dead for 22 seconds. Still with us. Guys, get to Sam Node. Riders awake. Who are you talking to? Sam. I didn't hear him. You're up. Look here. And here. My father. Where? It was your life or his, and he chose you. I'm so sorry, Sarah. I know this must be a blow. I... I can't believe he's gone. One minute, everything was fine, and then... he... I know he could be distant, but he once said that when his time came, he wanted to go out among stars no one had seen before. 
What are we doing in Sam Node? Sam is now part of you. In a way we don't entirely understand. It played havoc with your brain. Sam? Your father authorized the transfer of Pathfinder authority to you. Shouldn't that be Korra? In theory. In reality, you're the new Pathfinder, Sarah. Whoa. Well, if that's how it has to be. Don't sell yourself short. I think you can do it. Cora? It's what he wanted. I won't stand in the way. But being Pathfinder is a serious job. You sure you're ready for this? I'm sure there's a lot I don't know. But I'll figure it out. If it helps, you've got me to lean on. It's all academic anyway. Sam's linked to your mind on a deeper level now. Trying to untangle it could kill you. I know this is tough, but we need to start thinking about the next step. A lot of people are counting on us. Is the Ark still drifting? That's the thing. Whatever your dad did with that tower, it saved the day. Some sort of atmosphere scrubber. The energy cloud thinned out. We're on our way to the rally point now. Should be at the Nexus soon. She needs to rest first. She has two hours. We'll need our Pathfinder for this. Oh, I, uh, I checked on your brother. Still no change. But if you can pull through, so can he. A bit of your dad in both of you. Your father will be missed. What's going on, Sam? This is our private channel. I shared it with him. Why did he do it? Why me? Unknown. But he never acted without reason. Alec wouldn't want us to lose sight of the goal. He said pain emboldens our resolve. He'd insist we grow stronger from his passing. Ryder, good to see you on your feet. We're at the Nexus. It's the forward hub for the entire Andromeda Initiative. 
The Asari, Solarian, and Turian arcs should be there too. Let's hope they've had better luck. Starting our approach now. It's almost as big as the Citadel back home. Nexus Control, this is Arc Hyperion, requesting docking clearance. Captain, I'm only getting their automated approach channel. Not a live person. Well, like it or not, we're here. Take us in. Construction should have been finished by now. Could be worse. How? Habitat 7's a bust. We might have started a war with the first aliens we met, and our Pathfinder's dead. This better be rock bottom. Green across the board. Docking initiated. All right. I got us here. Good luck, Pathfinder. He gonna be okay, Ryder? The captain just called me Pathfinder. This is really happening. Attention, just take a deep breath. We have reached the I still can't believe Dad's dead. This should have been his moment, but now it's yours. You just need to decide what you're gonna do with it. Where do I start? I'm just not sure I'm ready. We weren't ready to fall out of the sky on Habitat 7, but we survived that. Right? So, always keep a jump jet handy. Roster. I just updated the charts. Okay, folks. This is what we've been waiting for. Let your teams know that docking procedures are now in effect. We've got 20,000 colonists still asleep. We'll need somewhere to put them when the alarm clock goes off. As soon as we get clearance from the Nexus, We'll be following stasis revival protocols. We want to avoid any log jams, so it's vital your teams coordinate with each other and keep people moving. Any questions so far? Uh, how do we handle deaths that occurred in transit? Right. It's an unfortunate fact that not everyone will have survived the voyage. We've already got scattered reports of medical problems from that dark energy cloud we hit. If somebody didn't make it, Check with the medical officer. We'll see about notifying their next of kin. I'm hoping it's a rare exception. Also, try to keep it quiet. Andromeda is all about new beginnings, not holding funerals. It'll be nice to see some friendly faces this time. The Nexus runs a support crew, just enough to finish building the station and provide safe harbor for the Arcs. It means we can start waking our people up. They built a bar, right? Gotta have champagne for the welcome party. You're expecting one. After what we've been through, I could use a buzz. We all could. Yeah. Rough ride so far. We'll bounce back. Real food and a shower are just ahead. Here we are. Uh, I don't see any champagne. Where is everybody? Well, this can't be right. It's like everything's on standby. If it's a surprise party, they're doing an awfully good job of it. Welcome to the Nexus, gateway to Andromeda. I'm Avina, a virtual intelligence designed to assist you with immigration. Uh, can you tell us where the welcome party is hiding? I'm sorry. My code is limited to information and simple interaction simulations. Please select from the following pre-programmed responses. 
How does the immigration process work? We ask that you submit to a brief medical exam to ensure your health and well-being after making such a long journey. Once you've been cleared, our colonization experts will assist you in finding your new home. Please be mindful of the queue. Thousands of eager colonists like you are waiting to begin their new life in Andromeda. Uh, where? Place is deserted. What can you tell me about the Andromeda Galaxy? Here in Andromeda, you are over two million light years away from the Milky Way Galaxy. This is the furthest any life form has ever traveled outside our home system, making you a brave pioneer indeed. The Nexus itself is located in a region known as the Helios Cluster. Here, you and thousands of your fellow colonists will fulfill your dreams of settling a new home. Fortune awaits. What is the Nexus? The Nexus serves as the central hub for the Andromeda Initiative's colonization efforts. It is the first destination for all colonists upon their arrival in the new galaxy. Please enjoy the many venues the Nexus has to offer. As the station expands, it will one day serve as the seat of government for Milky Way colonists. Providing a safe, stable, and prosperous environment is our primary goal. Not from the looks of it. Where do colonists live? Once you've cleared immigration, our helpful staff will assist you in choosing the home world of your dreams. Will it be the tropical paradise of Habitat 7? The gentle rolling hills of Habitat 3? Or perhaps the mysterious twilight world of Habitat 5? Whichever you choose, rest assured our Pathfinders have carefully vetted all colony worlds to ensure your security and prosperity. Oh boy. Habitat 7? That's where we landed. She's way out of date. What year is it? The current year is 2819. After spending over 600 years in stasis, it's normal to feel disoriented or confused upon arrival. Our helpful medical staff can assist with any physical or psychological after effects you may be experiencing. Well, she's got the date right, at least. So where is everyone? That's all. It has been my pleasure. Please see one of our helpful immigration staff for further assistance. And welcome to your new home in Andromeda, where the brightest star is you. Current wait time for immigration processing is... Unknown error. Right. That was helpful. Plants are still alive. It's like they didn't finish building it. Hello? This place should be packed with people. There's a guy. Maybe he's got champagne. Hi there. We're from Arc Hyperion, and wondering where everybody went. Did he hear you? Did you say an Arc? Yeah, we just got in. And for what it's worth, your VI over there could use an update. But... we thought you were all dead. What? Or captured, or lost in dark space, or... But you're here. You have no idea how much this means. I don't believe it. I'm Tyrion Kandros. I lead our militia on the Nexus. I'm Sarah Ryder. This is Cora Harper and Liam Costa, part of the Pathfinder team. I'm sorry for the confusion. Our sensors told us an arc had arrived, but Helios is notorious for scrambling equipment. We thought you were just another malfunction. But aren't you expecting us? You're the first arc we've seen. After a year of waiting and no sign of the others, we shuttered this area and stopped looking. You've been stranded for a whole year? Longer. I'll fill you in on the way to Op Center. Everything that could go wrong with our plan has. We arrived 14 months ago. Right away, we hit a band of dark energy that knocked us off course. We're familiar with it. 
Then you'll know why we call it the Scourge. We lost whole sections of the station. A lot of people died. No power, no food. The chaos went on for months. It finally led to armed rebellion. When order was restored, the insurgents were banished. Exiles, we call them. Are things back to normal? Not even close. But you're here now, so maybe the worst is over. No word from the other Pathfinders? No word from anyone, period. Any threats from the locals? So far, we've stayed hidden. We're in no shape to deal with an attack. We had a first contact situation on Habitat 7. Whole thing went south. They tried to kill us. That wasn't first contact. We know about them. Those aliens are gonna be a real problem. This day just keeps... We're here. You guys go ahead. I'll check out the security situation. You should know our command structure has been fractured. Some of us are filling in for leaders who died. Is it true? They said drop everything and report for duty. And no one was expecting an ARC to finally show up. Docking procedures are green across the board. Stand by to merge Hyperion power into the grid. The crew of the Hyperion. Good luck. I'm Jaren Tan, director of the initiative. You have no idea how much your arrival means to us. We've heard about what happened, and we're ready to help. We could use any supplies you have. Food, water, we're short on everything. This is Foster Addison. She oversees colonial affairs. Where's the Pathfinder? You're looking at her. You're not Alec Ryder. My father's dead. He made me his successor. Alec... is dead. Please understand, the entire initiative is at risk. None of the Golden Worlds panned out. They're a bust, and there's been no word from the other Arcs. What happened to them? Unknown. Our supplies are nearly depleted. Rationing bought us some time, but even that's running out. We need to find more resources. But that takes people, and we can't wake them up. Until they have somewhere to live. A golden world. Now more than ever, we need a Pathfinder. It now falls to you, Ryder. Are you up to the task? My dad knew what it meant to be Pathfinder. He wouldn't pick me if he thought I wasn't. Your father won't be around to fix things if you fail. That's no way to treat a guest. I'm Nak Morkesh, superintendent of this station. I hope they haven't scared you off already. It's nothing personal, but now isn't the time for on-the-job training. At least the Pathfinder here seems willing to try. We could use a fresh perspective. You've heard my concerns. I'll leave you to it. We're all feeling the pressure. Let's have a private word in my office, Ryder. We'll discuss giving you a scout ship. I'm happy to work out the details with your associate. Welcome to the Nexus. Thank you for standing up for me there. Mm, hopes in short supply here. What little we can find should have a chance Ma to Ma'am, the Hyperion's core is now online. Let me show you something. An hour ago, that was all dark. But with the power from your ship, you're keeping the lights on. You have my vote. And when the power runs out? You'd best go talk to Director Tan. Make sure that doesn't happen. And don't be shy. Come see me when you have a chance. Engineering reports. Hyperion power draw is now at 100%. Hyperion is at its supplies. Handling something big, is she? Hello, I'll just console. organize this as it comes You and I are going to be very good friends. You know what?
This is the planet where we landed. Habitat 7. It wasn't even close to livable. That's been true of every world we found. Ryder, we were discussing your next expedition. Good. I was starting to wonder who was in charge around here. Director Addison is entitled to her opinion, and mine overrules hers. Does she know that? I oversee the entire initiative, and I have decided to give you a chance to prove yourself. To that end, the score is dealt as a serious blow. Whatever it is, our scientists theorize it's not natural. An artificial energy cloud? It wasn't here when we left the Milky Way, yet it rendered all the Golden Worlds unlivable. Then there's the aliens you ran into, the Ket. They're obsessed with alien structures we found scattered around the cluster. They'll do anything to prevent others from accessing them. It seems murder isn't exclusive to the Milky Way. And now the challenge is to settle a world in spite of all that. This one here, Eos. How? You need to increase the viability of the planet so we can establish an outpost. Then we can bring more colonists out of stasis. The more colonists we have, the more resources we can gather to support the Nexus. Everything depends on it. There are six worlds we hope to settle. Okay, but you said every planet you found is unlivable, so how do I... A good Pathfinder would relish the challenge of solving it. Right. I think I should go check on things. And if I fail, I guess it's no sweat off your back, right? You'll just look for another Pathfinder? Placing bets on people is part of my job. Some of them pay off. Others... Just point me to my ship and I'll be out of here. They're prepping it now in the docking bay. The coordinates for EOS will be in the computer. And when you have a moment, we should discuss the missing arcs. I was wondering about that. <sighs> Something wrong? Ryder, can you see me and Sam on the Hyperion? Your implant needs attention, and we need to discuss a confidential matter. No, I'm fine. Ryder, you have my condolences for your father. I appreciate it. I didn't know him very well, although I understand he played a key role in planning the initiative. I'm sure he'd be concerned that we still have several arcs missing. Any idea where they went? Nothing certain, but tens of thousands of colonists are unaccounted for. It paints the initiative in an unflattering light. Did you have some other business? Sounds like the Nexus has had a rough time of it. Publicly, I would say we're more than up for the challenge. Privately, I can tell you, it's been a disaster. The Scourge killed hundreds, many of them our senior leadership. Even the founder of the initiative, G.N. Garson, is dead. How did Jean Garson die? With the rest of the leadership, when the Nexus hit the Scourge, a large wing of stasis pods was destroyed. They were killed instantly. These people traveled 600 years and died before they even woke up. Jean Garson never glimpsed Helios. She never saw her vision realized. Kandros mentioned something about hitting the Scourge. How did it play out? Criminal elements took advantage of the emergency and preyed on people's fears. An uprising followed. We had no choice but to turn to the Krogan to deal with them. They crushed the mutiny and the criminals were banished. Exiles, we call them. I doubt we've heard the last of them. They're led by an outlaw, Sloan Kelly. She used to be one of ours. Who is this Sloan Kelly? She was head of security on the Nexus. She opposed the uprising at first, but eventually turned traitor and joined them. Misguided sympathy for the plight of the common citizen? Nonsense. They posed a direct threat to our existence. There don't seem to be many Krogan around. Good riddance. The Krogan demanded a greater say in political matters. The last place you want them involved? Their muscle. Nothing more. Good for fighting and lifting heavy objects. When they didn't get what they wanted, they left. 
Why don't you like the Krogan? It's common knowledge that they are a violent, ignorant species. Long ago, they waged nuclear war on one another. Their planet was decimated. My people tried to uplift them, but the Krogan could never tame their worst instincts. What if they bring their tempers to Andromeda? We'll all be dead. What more can you tell me about the initiative? It represents the greatest migration ever attempted. No one had ventured beyond the Milky Way before. We've all left home in search of freedom, fortune, perhaps a new beginning. We are the bravest souls each species has to offer. I hope the Nexus will serve as the seat of government for us all. What do you know about the early days of the Initiative? As most everyone knows, Gian Garson's vision made it happen. She was an entrepreneur on Earth. Wealthy. Young for a human. Garson had the idea for the Initiative in the early 2170s, I believe. Many thought leaving the Milky Way was impossible. But she persevered. And as with most great ideas, the doubters were wrong. Why do you think most people came? There are thousands of reasons. One for every colonist here. What does any pilgrim seek? Usually, happiness. Finding the thing that eludes them. The thing to fulfill them. While we cannot promise they will find it, we can facilitate the search. It looks like a melting pot around here. The Nexus is home to several initiative species. Many came ahead of the Arcs. The hope is that this station will one day serve as the governing body in Andromeda. Though I'm not sure what they were thinking, lumping Krogan into the mix. As a Solarian, my kind tend to have a low opinion of them. Nothing I've seen here has changed that. As director of the initiative, are you in charge around here or what? If the others would allow me, they don't see me as the rightful successor. So how does anything get done? In theory, Kesh handles the Nexus's physical operations, Kandros runs the militia, and Addison manages colonial affairs. I oversee all of it. In practice, we argue, debate, and yell at each other until a decision is made. If we're lucky. It is maddening. What's their problem with you? I am not Gian Garson. Our founder was charismatic, eccentric, larger than life. Traits I cannot hope to mimic. She and her inner circle perished in the scourge, some at the hands of the exiles, some never made it out of stasis. I was deputy assistant for revenue management. Then all seven leaders above me died. I was next in line for the role. So, you're an accountant? Don't let that fool you. We are all capable of more than we know. When I was young, I was fascinated by the idea of exploring space. Life had its detours and I went a different direction. Then I heard about the initiative and saw my chance to try the path not taken. While I may not be setting foot on new worlds, my authority can ensure that you do. Right. Sorry. Any more information you can give me on the missing arcs? No, and that is the distressing part. The Asari, Turian, and Salarian arcs are completely unaccounted for. If they had the same problems with the Scourge that we did, I fear the worst. Should you find any clues, please investigate. Without the other arcs, the promise of the initiative can never be fulfilled. Are there any other arcs we should expect? We had hoped Quarians would be part of the first wave. But before departure in 2185, we got word they had technical problems with their ship. It seems they're also bringing along Drell, Hanar, and other species as well. Managing all of their biological needs caused complications. We won't see them for some time to come. What do I need to consider in making a planet viable? Assuming the planet supports life, an outpost is critical. People like a roof over their heads and you'll want to eliminate any hostile threats. Whether that's the cat or other terrors lurking in Helios, colonists being murdered on sight can be discouraging. Also, scouting and mapping terrain is a priority for any Pathfinder. And don't forget forward stations. You'll want those. What can you tell me about forward stations? I was afraid you'd ask. It's mostly what the engineers tell me. 
A forward station allows mining, equipment repairs, and resupply for field teams. I mean, who wouldn't want that? But seeing as how every colonization effort has failed, it's just theory at the moment. You get to test it out, Ryder. That's all. Thanks for your time. I'm happy to help. You will find our futures depend on each other's success. Good luck.